Hey there, cats and kittens. It's time to visit a cinematic masterpiece in this week's Movie Review. Many of you have probably seen stills from The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari and yet not seen the whole film. This was certainly the case for myself and I thought that this film was very, very interesting. It has a very simple plot which involves a series of mysterious murders that occur when Dr. Caligari visits a town's fair. But there is a twist at the end, which I'm not gonna ruin for you, but I'm gonna ask you to be kind, as in the decades that have followed, we've seen this twist done many times, but at the time, it was brand new. So don't criticize the film on that front, and also I'm gonna ask you to look at this with a fresh pair of eyes and understand that this film uses to great effect German expressionism and you're going to see that reflected in both the set design, the makeup, and the acting as well as the cinematography. I was blown away. I was so impressed by the set design and this very stylized take on the world. The set design is simply said amazing and well worth watching the film strictly for that. The acting is so-so, but it's okay because again, it was very stylized acting. I could never really get into any of the actors, but it was really fun to watch. And I'm so glad that I took the time to watch it. Were there any stand-up performances either by Dr. Caligari or the supporting cast? No, they were all fine. And the monster, as the monster, he was good and menacing in a kind of a um, unique kind of way. I found out some interesting trivia. As it turns out, the monster actually was the same actor who would play Strasser in the classic Casablanca. So that was really fun to find out. And overall, I thought it was time well invested. And if you really love cinema, you really should take a moment to take a look at this film as it's going to have a lot of portents, uh, a lot of things that you're going to see reflected in future films. And as again, as simply a wonderful example of German Expressionism, it's well worth taking a look at. And I really want you guys who love movies to go out take a look at this film. You're going to hear the word sonambulist used a lot in this film and the simple definition for that is a sleepwalker. All right guys well that's all for now. I hope you're having an awesome day. If you haven't already done so subscribe and don't forget to follow me on Pinterest, Twitter, and Tumblr at Lord Coyote 2000. Take care now. Bye.